I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. The cords of death entangled me. The torrents of destruction overwhelmed me. The cords of the grave coiled around me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called to the Lord. I cried to my God for help. From his temple he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because he was angry. Smoke rose from his nostrils. Consuming fire came from his mouth. Burning coals blazed out of it. He parted the heavens and came down. Dark clouds were under his feet. He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him, the dark rain clouds of the sky. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advanced with hailstones and bolts of lightning. The Lord thundered from heaven. The voice of the Most High resounded. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy. With great bolts of lightning, he routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed, and the foundations of the earth laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from your nostrils. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I am not guilty of turning from my God. All his laws are before me. I have not turned away from his decrees. I have been blameless before him and have kept myself from sin. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. To the faithful you show yourself faithful. To the blameless you show yourself blameless. To the pure you show yourself pure. But to the devious you show yourself shrewd. You save the humble, but bring low those whose eyes are haughty. You, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. For who is God besides the Lord? And who is the rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He causes me to stand on the heights. He trains my hands for battle. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You make your saving help my shield, and your right hand sustains me. Your help has made me great. You provide a broad path for my feet so that my ankles do not give way. I pursued my enemies and overtook them. I did not turn back till they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. You armed me with strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. You made my enemies turn their backs in flight, and I destroyed my foes. They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. To the Lord, but he did not answer. I beat them as fine as wind-blown dust. I trampled them like mud in the streets. You have delivered me from the attacks of the people. You have made me the head of nations. People I did not know now serve me. Foreigners cower before me. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. They all lose heart. They come trembling from their strongholds. The Lord lives. 
Praise be to my rock. Exalted be God my Savior. He is the God who avenges me, who subdues nations under me, who saves me from my enemies. You exalted me above my foes. From a violent man you rescued me. Therefore I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing the praises of your name. He gives his king great victories. He shows unfailing love to his anointed, to David and to his descendants forever. Most of the psalms we have sung thus far have belonged to the Laman genre, where David laments about the wickedness of his enemies and their persistent attacks. David's prayers to God asking for deliverance are finally answered. So he sings a psalm of thanksgiving. That's what this psalm is, a psalm of thanksgiving or praise. We would have noticed in all the psalms, especially this one, that David's descriptions of emotions and situations are often violent. However, David is merely setting the poet and himself free, so we should not be too shocked by the things he says. In today's psalm, for instance, David speaks of God getting so angry, smoke rises from his nostrils and fire comes out of his mouth. God is spirit. He doesn't have a mouth or nostrils for any of these things to happen, so we shouldn't take what David says literally. However, we should understand the sentiments behind the poetic language. David's deliverance from his enemies is providential, and David doesn't take it for granted. He wants everybody to know what God has done for him, so he gives himself free reign in his expression. God's deliverance was mighty, it was forceful, and it was definite. So as he says, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. Now God gives us victories over our enemies too, and as we reflected a few days earlier, these are not only the human type. We gain victory over poor health, addictions, financial burdens, and many other things. Yet we seldom acknowledge what God has done for us, much less be enthusiastic in our praise and thanksgiving. As Jesus said, when only one leper of the ten he had healed returned to thank him, were not all ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give praise to God except this foreigner? Let us not be like the nine lepers, but like the one who returned. And let us be as enthusiastic as David in his expression of gratitude. Therefore, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing the praises of your name. God be with you. Are you as enthusiastic in your expression of gratitude to God as David is? Or do you take the victories he gives you for granted? Think about that today. Please read the psalm from your Bible before you sleep and try to memorize one verse in it that touched your heart to make these reflections more meaningful. To subscribe to this podcast, please WhatsApp plus 919082101605. Thank you for watching.